So this is a quick view of the administrator dashboard. If you hover over the name of the website, you can open it and see the actual site from the dashboard. So I want to right click and open this in a new tab. So this opens my website here and I can manage the features and the appearance of the website from the dashboard. So the dashboard is essentially the control panel of the site which helps you to manage it and this is where you can create new content and manage these contents. You can add more features or functionality to the site. You can change the appearance and the style of the website. So this area is the screen options. These options listed on the right side here can actually be controlled. You can choose which elements you want to allow, which elements that you want to hide. So this welcome screen is the one that is here. So if you uncheck this box, you see that it has disappeared. If you also uncheck, so let's start from here. This one, you see it has disappeared. If you want to bring this back, you equally check the box. It depends on what you want at a glance and activity. So you can check which boxes that you actually need. This area is the WordPress events and news. This is not connected to the WordPress.org server because it is offline. That is why it is not showing. It would have shown you up to date or upcoming WordCamps that WordPress is organizing. Back to the left hand side here, here lists the various menu options that you can use to control the website. And if you hover over each of these, you see sub menu options and all that. So each menu item that you see here controls actually an aspect of the website, as you can see their names suggesting. These are by default the menu options by WordPress. However, there might be the need to modify or change the appearance of the website. There might also arise a need to add more features and functionality to the site. And to achieve this, we have to install what we call themes and plugins. Themes change the appearance of the website and plugins act as extensions or add-ons that change the functionality or add more functionality or features to the website. So this implies that the menu items you see here are going to increase because these tools you are going to install will add more options to the default menu options that we have here. But these are the ones that come by default whenever you install WordPress. Right, so in our next video, we are going to start right away with posts. And then we are going to take a quick look at all of these options. Then when we start the actual project, we are going to use them one after another. So let's get on board to the next video. We are going to start with WordPress posts.